Mic check. Yeah, this is for y'all. All right, this is for y'all. You feel me? This is for the Maryland Black Caucus, the Maryland delegation, in Annapolis, and the Baltimore City, Baltimore County delegation. I was kidnapped by the state of Maryland because I was making a documentary about your racism in the courts. I was kidnapped by the state of Maryland and held illegally for 186 days. I informed Chief Justice Roberts of what I was doing. You feel me? Right here. I informed Chief Justice Roberts what I was doing September 2006. Governor O'Malley, he approved the program. 13 storyboards, jailhouse diary, legal material. You feel me? This was a movie and a documentary about the politics in Maryland. It's about accessing the court. It's about being black and white America. You feel me? I am Dred Scott. And I'm coming down to Annapolis for Annapolis Day. And this is evidence. This TV is evidence. The same way that you paraded me around TV, the same way that you paraded me around the town, I'm going to parade y'all around town. We're going to tell a story, and you got to go through the gauntlet. And this is the gauntlet. You feel me? Received. February the 2nd, 2011. February the 2nd, 2011. I turned in Scott Schellenberger to Greg Bernstein in the city solicitor. Offenders application for interstate compact. I had an interstate compact, and I was illegally incarcerated. You feel me? And these are the cases in which we need to talk about. Because this is what I put that toilet for in Towson. It's about city, county, and state, and federal levels. It's about your prison industry and mass incarceration. But you don't have a problem locking me up just for being black in America. I was making a movie. All right? And these are your violations. You violate my civil and constitutional rights. You feel me? You violated my rights. Baltimore man held in toilet caper. That's your affidavit. You feel me? You read this right here. State and federal audit, criminal charges. I want Scott Schellenberger criminally charged with kidnapping. All right, from the Maryland Comptroller's Office. All right, that's Peter Francott's office to Dwayne Davis. Mr. Riley, you feel me? Criminal charges. Thank you for contacting the Comptroller's Office. You feel me? And I filed those criminal charges with the, with the Baltimore County Police Department. Here's the criminal charges. You feel me? And that's Judge Turnbull. And Judge Turnbull knew about this. Honorable Judge Turnbull. You feel me? That's a movie release. So we don't have no misunderstandings about nothing. It's a movie release. So like y'all paraded me on TV, I'm going to parade y'all on TV. That's my press card, and I'm going to press up on you. You feel me? That's me. And we're talking about racism in the judicial system. Judge Turnbull had it. The FBI had it. Fox 45 had it. ABC had it. CBS had it. Y'all had all this information. Turnbull and Judge Boris. President Obama asked for an investigation. I'm the subject of the investigation. You feel me? Eric Holder, Department of Justice. Like I said, it's Rob Fix production. But it's a shorty movie. City Hall. You feel me? That's Ozzy Newsom. I don't want no misunderstandings on nothing I'm doing. We're not looking for another hero. I'm just trying to find my way home. And the only way I can go home if you give me my freedom. You give me what belongs to me. We're going to talk about campaign financing for the 2018 elections. We talk about Aisha Khan. She owe me like $500. I need an I-99. She needs to file that paperwork. She's going to lose her seat because she violated campaign financing rules. Johnny Oleski, I'm going to dismantle the Democratic Party. I'm going to dismantle O'Malley's machine. And I'm going to do it in court. Antonio Hayes got a book. And you need to see that book that Antonio Hayes got. Ask him about it. Very detailed. Shows when I contacted who and what I was doing and how long. You feel me? Brian Frost got it too when he was Senator Frost. Doug Gansler had it. You protecting the Democratic Party. You feel me? You're protecting the Democratic Party through your state's attorney's office. I'm sure this bootleg barbecue. I'm good wherever I go. You feel me? I'm from Zion, Illinois. I'm that man from Zion. And I mailed all this to myself. You feel me? These are the Oreos, the people that know me. 
That's the chief of police. Like I said, I'm putting everything on the table. I was kidnapped by the state of Maryland by the order of Greg Bernstein, Scott Schellenberger, and the Baltimore County Police Department because I was making a documentary about your racism. I was applying for Martin Luther King's jobs. No jobs, no justice. No justice, no peace. No peace, we in the streets. And that's Schellenberger, because like I said, all emails, all letters, everything. Everything Governor Hogan got. All videotapes, all legal mail, all legal material. Because like I said, this is a movie and a documentary. And I don't want nobody left out the loop. Schellenberger should have done this in 2008. Federal and state violations. Bank of America, Sun Trust Bank, James Hammond conspired to defraud the government. Schellenberger says, sue, and I am. My movie coming out in spring of 2010. Y'all locked me up before my movie could come out. Y'all locked me up in 2011 before the movie could come out and before I get all my information. Due process and equal protections. You feel me? This was in 2008. To whom it may concern. Dear sir, dear madam, this letter is to verify that on February the 1st. February the 1st, I was in jail in Lake County, Illinois. I was a vulnerable individual. February the 1st, you couldn't have wrote another lease on my property because my lease didn't run out till 2009. I was insured by Brother Insurance. I was kidnapped by the state of Maryland, by the state of Illinois on 12-24-2007. I was kidnapped. And I was held until June 3rd. You feel me? And here it goes. Bomb threat, Lake County, Illinois. Gave statement to the Chicago FBI. Filming in Zion and Waukegan, Illinois. These is all in 2007, long before I got locked up. You feel me? See the dates? 12, 22, 20. All right. Filming. Road trip. Kidnapped by the state of Illinois. Michael Waller. I was kidnapped in hell for 186 days. And then I got kidnapped 2 7, 2011. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. You held me for 86 days. You feel me? That toilet was about that case. You feel me? That toilet was evidence, and it was clearly marked evidence. Scott Schellenberger knowingly lied to the grand jury, presented false evidence to the grand jury to get an indictment. He used the power of his office to steal evidence against him. This house is Bill 74. All right. That's Johnny Oleski. They got this. Because I came to your office. You received this last year. Right after you got inaugurated. That's my insurance claim. All right. That's my insurance claim. And right here, during our meeting, the undersigned, Insurance Administration Office. This issue involves questions of facts and judgments of credibility that requires a judge and a jury, a civil and a criminal judicial venue. You feel me? The same way that you locked me up, I want Schellenberger locked up. I need, the, the state insurance said, I need to have a criminal and a civil investigation. You're going to have to investigate that because I was insured the whole time I was in Illinois. I was insured by Insurance Incorporated. And we're going to talk about this case because this is the war on drugs. People versus state Illinois. This is the case that you used against me. You used 86 CF 293, that 86 case. And by law, that's fruit from the forbidden tree. By law, that's fruit from the forbidden tree because I was innocent of all those charges. See that? 86. As a general nature, my opinion in this case, which is reversed and on appeal, cannot be considered a conviction. You can't consider this a conviction. Like I said, I made a book and a movie about y'all. Your government. Scott Schellenberger, Judge Turnbull. It's about your courts. You feel me? And the White House knew about it. Because like I said, I contacted everybody. Frank Boston. That's your fraternal order of police lawyer. 2007. I'm sorry for your, for your loss. <laughs> Yeah, my son died, and I was making a movie about being black in America, burying our kids, because we're not supposed to bury our kids. And Adam May got 25 pages of a jailhouse diary. Parole and probation. And I'm showing the role that the media plays in misinformation, because they lied to y'all. That's Bank of America. All right?
That's asking for an audit. So I was insured by Bank of America. And this is all the people that knew. Because like I said, this is a documentary. Artist Yancey dead. He died. But the Baltimore Sun, the Waukegan New Sun, William Beeston from Fox 45, you still want to play? Underground Railroad. You can get everything from the Zion Police Department. Get all videotapes, letters, and everything. Martin O'Malley approved this program in 2006. It's the Get Shorty program. It's a self-help organization for the redevelopment and re-education of the young. It's about policing the police. That's your attorney general. You feel me? In response to you. See what it says? Criminal division. Civil division and criminal section of the Department of Justice. So, yeah, Johnny Oleski, they asking for a criminal and a civil. And it's these cases right here. Right here. I turned this shit in on February the 2nd, 2011 to State's Attorney Bernstein. I turned this into Bernstein. Five days after I turned it in, you locked me up for terrorism. Then when I got out of jail, you charged me with these crimes. This is what Scott Schellenberger did. This shows the abuses of power by his office. You feel me? Take me to court for this case right here. I dare you. Take me to court for that case right there. I dare you. That's David Irwin. Well, I was locked up. That's the search warrant for my property on Falls. Uh, uh, all right. And this is the property that you took from me. The entire contents of the defendant's vehicle. At the conclusion of a trial, the def uh, if I won the case, I'm supposed to be compensated for my losses. If you took that truck as evidence against me, then that should have still been in the police department lockup. You knowingly destroyed evidence long before I even went to trial. You feel me? And you're protecting Scott Schellenberger and the corruption. That's my brother, William Lewis Davis. He worked for the FBI. That's his number. Call it. That's the only reason I'm alive, because I gave you my brother's number and I told you what I was doing. You feel me? Diane White. Philip Davis. Get my Facebook pages. A motion to squash the subpoenas. And these are all the people that I was making a documentary about. I told y'all, y'all rather go through hell with gasoline draws on. They go to draws, they go to gas. And these is who the people the movie was about. All right, Patricia Cook was testifying for me. All right, you see all these people? Paul Weinblatt gonna lose his license because he participated in the fraud. Scott Schellenberger, Francott. These are the people that lied about me on February the 7th. Then you had full knowledge of what I was doing. You feel me? I was making a movie about your war on drugs, stop and frisk and zero tolerance. Governor O'Malley's machine. Governor O'Malley's machine. And all these people protected Governor O'Malley. You feel me? This is Governor O'Malley's machine and his protection racket. Fraud in the court by Scott Schellenberger. Because Governor O'Malley put you in that position. And I'm just not going to leave it with Governor O'Malley and them. I'm going to leave it with y'all too. Nathaniel McFadden, Congressman Ruppersberger. You feel me? Timothy Ryan from the Baltimore Sun. Y'all had full knowledge of everything I was doing. Christian Schaefer. And I could prove it because I got it on tape. So these are the people that I want. For 2019, you're either going to give Scott Schellenberger, you're going to indict Scott Schellenberger, and Scott Schellenberger is going to snitch on the rest of y'all. Frank Cock got to give me an a audit if he like it or not. And when he give me the audit, money count itself. You feel me? Adam May got evidence. Kai Jackson, Sheriff Fisher, Judge Turnbull, Sergeant Duvall, Malcolm Ruff, Frank Conway, Pollard Towen. Y'all going to have to come up with my property and my evidence. Because like I said, I was making a movie. Ain't no law against making a movie. This movie going to detail my life and show everything I went through. And it's going to show Marilyn Mosby too. Because she been shielding the corruption. You feel me? It's going to show everything about everybody. Here's state's attorney. You signed for that in 2016. You've been shielding this shit for two years. So tonight, it's Annapolis night. It's Baltimore. Go straight to Antonio Hayes. Ask Antonio Hayes for my book. I am Dred Scott. Ask Antonio Hayes for that book. Because it's all about Governor O'Malley's machine. You feel me? And I'm going to leave this in front of City Hall. So we make sure that I get a, a fair trial. You feel me? He got my book. He got the signatures. He got the mail receipts. He got everything I need to send Scott Schellenberger to jail. 
Shock got Schellenberger go to jail. He gonna snitch on O'Malley's machine. Like I said, this is a stop snitching video. We're gonna see who go to jail first. It's Black History Month. I'm gonna put that pressure on you. 